Now let me show you something else that rolls. This is a very interesting demonstration, and it involves two balls, two stainless steel balls that are identical, except for the obvious fact that one is big and one is small. But they're solid, and uh, they're made out of uh, stainless steel, and one has a small radius, one has a large radius. Now what I'd like to do is to put these at the top of this plane and release them. And they're going to roll down the plane. Now here's a chance to test your physical intuition. Who thinks that this one will get to the bottom first? Who thinks this will get to the bottom first? Most people think the small one will go faster. Well, that's a pretty good bet because small animals run fast and so forth. But you know, in science, we don't just guess at the answer. And also, we don't take votes. That's for politics. <laughs> what we have to do is to go into the laboratory and do an experiment. And then however it comes out, that's the way it works. And so I'm going to release them both from rest, and we'll see which gets to the bottom first. Well, they more or less go together. There was very little difference between the rate at which they go down. And in fact, that's a general principle that any two balls, no matter how large, how heavy, how big, uh, will roll down at the same rate side by side, so long as they're solid and uniform throughout. If they're hollow on the inside, then it's a little bit different. Well, let me show you an example of, of a similar thing that may not be quite so obvious. Here I have two disks. They're like wheels, and they weigh the same amount. They're made out of wood, and they both weigh the same. And they're the same size. Except you see there is an important difference between the two, because one of them has an extra weight on the center here, a little brass cylinder. The other has an equal amount of brass on the rim. And so although they weigh the same, the position, the location of the mass is different in the two cases. Now you can guess what I'm about to do. I'm going to roll these two down the plane. Who thinks this one will get down first? Good. Who thinks this one will get down first? About half and half. And that's fine. In science, we call these theories. And it's perfectly OK to have a theory. But we have to test it. So let's see. So you see, this one got down significantly before the other. 